We present By Dots, a novel visualization for exploring weighted, coordinated relationships based on by clustering. By clustering is a popular data mining technique that allows for simultaneous clustering of entities from two different domains according to their relationships, such as interconnections. The technique extracts by clusters, each containing two subsets of entities that are closely related. Based on by clustering results, by dots allows users to dynamically discover insights about coordinated relationships through visualization. Let's consider Emma, an intelligence officer, who wants to investigate suspicious persons and activities about chemical weapon smuggling in a collection of reports. From the reports, entities such as person, organization, and place are extracted, and their relationships are estimated based on co-occurrences in the text. After loading the data, ByDots displays organization to person by clusters on the left and person to place by clusters on the right and computes by cluster chains based on matching in the shared domain, person. Each by cluster chain is shown as a row in which entities are represented as circles with line patterns and their weighted relationships are represented as line strips between two entity sets. Emma starts her investigation by first adjusting a few by clustering parameters. For example, she reduces the minimum by cluster size for organization to person and lowers the relationship weight threshold for person to place. The computed by cluster chains can be ordered using different criteria such as average relationship weight and by cluster size. The matching threshold controls how by clusters from the two sides are connected to form chains. A darker circle in the organization domain draws Emma's attention, indicating that the entity exists in many by clusters. Hovering over it further, highlights that entity in the by clusters and its corresponding relationships. The information area displays the name of the organization, FBI, which is trivial because it's one of the sources of the reports, so Emma filters it out. Similarly, she filters out CIA. From the remaining organization entities that are darker, Emma identifies Al-Qaeda as one of the most commonly shared entities among the by clusters. She pins Al-Qaeda to make a separate column for it and brings all the related by clusters to the top. The pinned entity is colored in blue, so are the entities that coexist within it in by clusters. This allows Emma to quickly discover the next most related organization, Central Russia Airlines. Next, Emma shifts her attention to the person domain. Very easily, from the dark blue entities, she identifies Safrigan and Pyotr Safrigan are the most shared person entities in the by clusters that include the two organizations. Reading reports associated with these by clusters reveals that Safrigan and Pyotr Safrigan refer to the same person, and also points out another suspicious person named Bugarov, who is a biologist. By following the by cluster chains, Emma moves her investigation to the person and place domains. She pins the same entities and reorganizes by cluster chains by this relationship space. With similar techniques, Emma quickly identifies one of the key places, Moscow, that is in darker blue. Turning on the grouping function combines similar by clusters, which further confirms the close connections between Safrigan, Bugarov, and Moscow. From the darker blue entities, Emma then is able to discover another important place, Havana, and a critical person, Arze. Associated reports further reveal that Bugarov frequently travels between Russia and Cuba and gets in contact with Arze to smuggle biological agents to the USA.